Hello and welcome to Operation Crypto and welcome to a new video. This is the much asked for how to use a Fibonacci tutorial. What I will do is talk about what the Fibonacci indicator is and then I will go through some analysis on how to actually use it on the charts and how to pretty much set it up from right at the beginning to the very end. So if you're interested in finding out more, please hit that like button, make sure you are subscribed and let's crack on. Right, so let's get cracking. We will run over the basics first and then, like I say, I will go into some in-depth um, tutorial on how to use it and set it up. The Fibonacci retracement um, indicator has been a much requested um, feature on my channel, so it is definitely time to, to get that out of the way and get people um, knowing how to use this correctly. So the Fibonacci retracement levels are horizontal lines that indicate where support and resistance are likely to occur. We can look on the charts ourselves and we can plot support and resistance levels going back to the, the monthly, the weekly, the daily. We can do that and they do hit it sometimes. But these Fibonacci levels are mathematical equations that have been worked. It doesn't just work in crypto, it works on all types of trading. Even in modern day life, Fibonacci rules are implemented. There are some key levels to note. So we have 23.6, 38.2. 61.8 and 78% which are the main key levels and two of those I use. I use a 38.2 and the 61.8 um, I think those two levels hit predominantly a lot of the time especially if you're looking for a retracement of a price for example a price has gone from $1 to $10 and you think right, I don't want about $10 is this going to pull back you put the Fibonacci on and it will then give you some levels below where you can buy. So 61% would be 61% of the entire move from the bottom of the move to the top. The indicator is useful because it can be drawn between any two significant price points. So that's from the bottom to the top of the current move, such as a high and a low. It is worth noting that it can be done for um, the price going up and also the price going down. The indicator will then create levels between those two points. So let's jump straight into how you actually use a Fibonacci and where you can find it. This is the Bitcoin chart. This is just, I'm just going to be using this area around here just to show you what it is first. And then we'll put it into practice on this move. So the Fibonacci on TradingView, if you're not on TradingView already, you'll find a link in the pink comment in the description. If you look down to the left hand side, you get lots of different tools. Click this one here and scroll down to Fibonacci retracement. It will then bring up a crosshairs. All you have to do is click and drag it up to there so we'll just put it on here for now and it will show you we'll show you how to set it up this is what it looks like on the default settings a little bit like a, a rainbow which is quite um, uneasy on the eye so to change it to your own settings if you just double click on one of the lines it will bring the settings up here the trend line which says there which is ticked on is the line up there it does give you a i mean if there's a price going up it will give you that line but usually I have that clicked off. I don't tend to use the, the trend line too much. And then if you look at all the different colours, personally, I like all in the same colour. So if you just click use one colour here and then change it to, I don't know, dark grey and then scrolling down, see the background here. Currently, it's highlighted it all in dark grey. What I do is completely take it off and I just use the natural lines itself. Otherwise, it gets a little bit cloudy. And again, the numbers currently on the left hand side, I prefer them on the right. Um, so if you just change that option there, you will see that is that. So that is all the options there. If you look on the right hand side, so that is the top of the move, that is the bottom move, and then the numbers in between are the percentages of the entire move. So we have these numbers, what I read out at the beginning, 236, 382. Um, that is one that is I don't usually use, um, 618 and 7.86. So we will click off the 0 0.5 level. You do not need that there. I mean, sometimes you might see some confluence and you, you could possibly leave it on. But I like to pretty much target a 382 level and the 618 um, there. So that is how to set it up. The rest of it, do not worry about these sides of it. Um, you don't need to know any of that. Keep it all basic. So that is the Fibonacci, how to set it up. And that is pretty much what I look at mine like. Um, that's what I have mine like. So let's get rid of that. And let's put in some practice. So usually what you do when you're looking to buy in and you see that a move has done quite a significant um, um, push up you want to buy in at low so for example we'll take this move here ignore that so we'll look at this move here so if you for example you're watching this price go up and then you think right it's starting to turn around here 
let's have a look where it can buy. So you click on the Fibonacci and you'll put it at the bottom of the move with the crosshairs there. And you'll just drag it up and finish it right on the top of that wick. It will then give you some Fibonacci levels. I mean, for example, let's just put that 50% back on there. Look how much that it nearly touched that to a T and then it popped back up. So that there does give you some levels which it could have hit. If we do this move, for example, here, so we'll click on that move there, top to the bottom to the top. As you can see, we have hit those all time highs in Bitcoin from this move here. So we put uh, the fib on from bottom to top. As you can see, it's coming down. We have pretty much done a 61% retracement there if you just put the box on you can see it's not it's not exactly um spot on it will not do it to an exact t because prices can fluctuate quite a lot but that would say is a 61% retracement of that entire move as you can see if you're looking to buy bitcoin for example you saw it at 60 um let's just it's not exactly am is it there we go. So if you look at, um, if for example you've seen Bitcoin hitting your all-time highs at 61,800, you think, right, I think it's going to retrace. You would put the Fibonacci on, and then you would place some orders either at the 618 level or the 382 level. Depends which one you buy. You could even break your buy orders down into multiple orders. So for example, if you have $100, you could put 25 or $50 here and $50 here. You could even put some in the middle. It's up to you. That is called laddering down so that is pretty much how you use a fibonacci if we just um go into another chart for example just to show us what we got um we'll use polkadot usdt just get rid of everything on that chart so that has done quite a, a good retracement already from those highs which was the all-time highs so you're looking for the beginning of a move i would say that this is the beginning of a move here from the 27th of january um, as you can see we hit those highs we retraced to there so i mean you could say these are big um some drops as well but to me, this is the beginning of the entire move. So you click on a Fibonacci. We'll put it from the bottom wick there, from bottom to top. And then you can see it's coming down. It has bounced off for 50% retracement level. So again, that might be the end of that move. But like I say, if you're looking for buys, then always target this level here. For example, again, put $50 there. And then the same again, put $50 here. And you could, even if you want, even bang some in the middle at that 50% retracement level um, that could be another level for you to potentially buy it's all pretty much wherever you really think it is going to land and how much you are willing to put in at those levels so that is some potential buy zones there so what i want to do next is show you how to actually use the um the fibonacci the opposite way around and for this i want to use the, um, the longer time frames and i'll just use the weekly time frame for this this is how to look at potentially price targets and um pretty much going forward how we can target some levels going up so if you look at the ethereum BM, ethereum usdt chart we'll go back in time and we'll put the fibonacci on from the top of the move when we hit those whole time highs to the bottom if you look where the bottom is as you can see we landed right there nearly hit it two times and then we did start to pop back up this gives you some percentages of that entire move going back up so for example we hit those all-time highs we did a massive retracement and now you're looking at levels to target on the way up as you can see the 100 percent retracement level if we just drag that slightly a bit more across from the bottom so this just gives you levels on the way back up once you've bottomed out the levels going up are 236 382 618 and 786 those are levels to target on the way back up but what it also does give you it does give you Fibonacci extensions. If you double click, here we have a 168, 268, 368, and 4.2. These are retracement levels on the upside. So they give you potential targets going forward. So there's some massive targets there for Ethereum at uh, 2,228. We have 3,600, 5,000, and 5,800. So that does give you some good levels to potentially target. But what I also want to show you is using a Fibonacci opposite way to get targets above. So if we go on to Ethereum, and we'll drop right down into the, um, let's have a look at the four hour time frame. So we'll take this move here. Um, as you can see, that is the start of a move. That is the end of a move. And now we are retracing. Let's put a Fibonacci on here from the bottom to the top. And then currently it only has levels down. What I do now is I add these to my Fibonacci. So if you click, um, let's delete that one because i never use that level minus 0 0.27 so that is one level i use a lot and let's get rid of this one too 
minus 0 0.618. So there are two new levels, which I use quite a lot. And as you can see above, look what they've put on. They've put on the max, so they're negative 618 and negative 217 levels. Once we have done this retracement, this will also then give you levels to aim at on the way back up. So that is another way of getting um, extension on your Fibonacci above the current price by using a retracement tool, which is a good level to go for. I mean, you could have, without this dump here, you could have, for example, um, just put this Fibonacci on here from bottom to top. And then if the move is still bullish and continuing, you could target these areas as accumulation or sell zones and take profit zone so they are two good fibonacci extensions which i like to add and i, I do suggest you add them because you will see a lot of confluency between those so that is how to use the fibonacci retracement tool retracement up and retracement down and just some of the basics if you do have any questions and you're still feeling um like if you don't know how to use it properly and jump into my telegram group which is a crypto troops you will find that in the, um, the pin comment and the description that will do it for today's video. Um, please make sure you do hit that like button, that you are subscribed to my channel, and I'll catch you next time.